The Pittsburgh History and Landmarks Foundation began as a grassroots effort by residents of Manchester trying to save the impressive red brick homes in their neighborhood. Today, that work continues, specifically at 1515 Bidwell Street, and that's where we find Mikey Hood. And she's got a saying, that's a cool house. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Heather, good morning. I know we all love a cool renovation, and I tell you, I'm in one this morning. This is a really, really cool house, and I can't wait for you guys to see what it looked like before it looked like this. So I'm with Michael C. Persert, and he's with the, he's the president of the Pittsburgh History and Landmarks Foundation, and he's going to tell us how this house all came together. Good morning, Michael. Let Good me Good morning, Mikey. Scooch closer here. All right, so tell me about the history of this house. Well, our organization, Pittsburgh History and Landmarks Foundation, has been working on buildings here in the Manchester neighborhood since we were founded over a half century ago in this neighborhood. This represents uh, our latest project here, the renovation of this house at 1515 Bidwell Street. It was in terrible uh, condition right before we bought it, actually, as you can see from the pictures. The side wall, the day before we closed, completely collapsed onto the alleyway here. And we typically get involved in buildings just like this that are in dire straits. Mm -hmm. We were able within just a couple hours to, to take those brick, put them in the back, save them because we were going to put them right back up mm -hmm. when, when the restoration began and stabilize it. And eight, nine months later here, we have a fully restored home for sale. Wow. And it looks great. And, and really what you did here was make a small space look relatively big. So we started in the living room mm -hmm. and moved into the kitchen area right, here. Right. Mm -hmm. When we started, this space actually was bifurcated by the stair, mm -hmm. which went left to right. And so it made these really tiny spaces uh, to modernize it and make it comfortable for, uh, for families. We opened it up, moved the stair and really created a nice flow from the kitchen right into the living room out to the front. Well, let's check up, up out upstairs as well, because you did a lot of stuff up there as well. Um, and I love the carpet. It's all mm -hmm. like light colors and white. So there's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of light and life in here. It is, the, all of these elements help make a small house feel and seem bigger. Mm -hmm. And so we have two spacious bedrooms up here with a nice bath and uh, windows looking out onto many of the historic buildings in the neighborhood. Uh, so we're very proud of this. This is a, uh, an affordable for sale home. So uh, a family next week closes on it and they'll be moving in. Yeah, and so what is the importance of like restoring homes like this in Pittsburgh neighborhoods? Manchester, like many of our neighborhoods in Pittsburgh, have a wonderful historic building stock. And once you lose a property, a building, it's gone forever. You can never recreate what was lost. And you take away the identity, in effect, when you, we lose buildings of a neighborhood. Uh, people come to places like Manchester because of the historic properties. It's really what's helped to elevate and bring new life into this neighborhood. All right, well, thank you so much, Michael. This is such a cool house. Uh, I'm moving in. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, just get things ready. Heather, uh, call before you come. You can reach me here. And uh, this is a, this is, my new space. Very good. Right? Very good, Mikey. <laughs> All right, Heather, I'm gonna send it back to you. Actually, I think it's I think it's sold already, but <laughs> so. I, I just I had to try. But you can see that. yourself there. That's how a house works when you can envision what your life I looks can. like in the home, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can. It's great here. I love it. Great. Thank you so much, Mikey. And thank you so much for highlighting the important work that they're doing there. 1515 Bidwell Street will be closing with a buyer on Tuesday, July 20th. It is not Mikey, we'll tell you that.